Welcome back again, lovely people. I know, so soon. Well, I believe I found out what the issue is. Do I have a solution yet? No, but hoping you guys can maybe help. So the first thing I did is, you know, it took a, a day to process that video that I posted previous to this one. So in that time, I rewired the circuitry, excluding SANS, the nano circuit. Okay, so I'm back to how Nova was during for SM2 version before the nano circuit. And everything is working great. I have no communication issues with the I2C, no ground issues. I even have the MPU unit running my servos again as it was, and it's all awesome. As you can see here, if I pick up the MPU unit, Cool. Oops. <laughs> so that's all working great. So then I was ready to now test connecting my nano circuit. And as I was about to do that, I realized I started thinking to myself, hey, wait a minute. If this is a slave to the Mega, as is the MPU unit and the PWM controller, so this would be slave number three. How the, do I then drive another I squared C device as a slave to this nano? That would mean this nano would have to act as a slave to the mega as well as its own master to its slaves. And a quick Google brought me to the Arduino forum, and yeah, <laughs> the final verdict was. It can be done, but never reliably. And that's exactly the trouble I'm having. Um, they, they mentioned, I'll, I'll post a link to the article in the description, but they mentioned that, you know, it's all about arbitration, and you, you would have to code around that, to know, so each of your devices know when each one of them are talking, if, the, if there's traffic, if the bus is busy or not. If you try to send all this traffic and let it sort itself out, it's going to fail the, the, the lowest uh, the slowest, sorry, slowest device actually will get priority on top of it all. So I can understand why my motors were going haywire if the OLED or the Nat Nano was trying to decide, hey, am I a master or a slave? So forget about it, guys. There's a problem there. And um, let's see, I hope this is focusing on this. So this is what we were trying to do, or I should say I was trying to do, sorry. Uh, so here's the, the Mega acting as the master, and then this is the terminal block that feeds all the devices. So it had MPU as slave A, PWM as slave B, and then the Nano as slave C. But then, yes, through the same pins on the na Nano, the same bus, I was expecting or trying to make the Nano a master B, and then have its own slaves, and that's just not happening. So prior to learning that too, I had picked up this board. It's a um, TCA9548A, and it actually seemed like a really cool, interesting board because, for those of you who don't know, um, check it out. I'll give you a brief s synopsis though. Basically, you would connect your master to this one slave, and then you connect all of your other dev devices up to eight I squared C devices. And then basically when you're talking to this one device, you say, okay, send this command to device one, send this command to device two, device three, etc. So there's no traffic, you, you don't leave the traffic management to the I squared C bus, this actually handles it for you. You specifically tell this, send this data to that device. So unfortunately I don't see this working in this case because again, we don't get to define what's a master and a slave, per se, and we definitely can't say a device is both. So, game over. So, I have two options here. A is to use another means of connecting the Nano to the Mega, which is the most feasible option, I think. Um, I did read in that same article that SBI is, is a great option. Or, yeah, get another dis display for this to drive rather than the OLED that's in the head now because that is I squared C. So I, I do have, I think I showed in another video, not my, not my NOAA videos, but these round displays which are SPI displays, but I have to tell you the performance is horrible so I don't think I'll use that. 
I don't think SBI is the way to go for any kind of display, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm at a dilemma. I'm going to look into connecting the two Arduinos via SBI, and hopefully that works, and that's the answer, and we'll be good to go. So, that's it, guys. Stay tuned for another video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.